everyone else already ready for a nap today? <laughs> hey there, welcome to my channel. This is Foggy Fiction, and I am Haley. I'm a writer living with mental illness, doing my best to show that mental health does not dictate talent or worth, and hoping to encourage others to chase their dreams. If you're new to my channel, I try to post one to two videos per week, usually about things related to writing, reading, and mental health, but sometimes I talk about other things, and that's okay too. And if you haven't already subscribed and would like to follow me on this clumsy journey, I'd love it if you'd hit that button and maybe ring the bell too. In today's video, I am talking about brain meds. Because I just started taking them, even though I am terrified of them. Yeah, today's video is a vlog, and we are talking about mental health stuff, so let's get to it. As I mentioned, I did start taking brain meds. Actually, I'm taking one brain med, and this is something that is huge for me. Like, one of the biggest things ever for me. I have been diagnosed with panic disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, PTSD, and major depressive disorder, and my new psychiatrist seems to think that OCD is very probable as well. The main problem that I experience with all of that, what I think is the root of my problems, is uh, my very intense fear of death and how uncomfortable I am with it and my lack, lack of control over it. That leads me to having paranoia and panic attacks over many things, driving in areas I don't know, sensory overload, trying new foods, and medicine. I do have a few medicinal allergies, so this isn't, isn't an entirely unfounded fear, but I got to a point with it where I wouldn't even take Tylenol, so it became a little problematic. It's not that I don't believe in medicine. That's not it at all. It's just that with my fears of death, I'm kind of afraid that everything's trying to kill me. So I was just afraid that I was going to experience a freak accident that ended with my death. I watched a little too much house, so that probably didn't help. It's been a struggle with all medicines that I need to take. Lucky for me, I'm, I've been on birth control since I was 15, so that one wasn't really much of a struggle to keep taking, but it did take me, but it did take me a very long time, actual years, to get myself comfortable taking two allergy medicines, like just over-the-counter allergy meds, and a vitamin with those. Literally within the last year is when I started taking those three things. All that to say, I'm not sure that I ever thought I'd be ready to take this step to try taking brain meds. I always kind of thought that my fears would be bigger than my want to try it, you know, forever. That I would never be stronger than those fears. But I mentioned to my therapist that I thought I might be ready to talk about trying brain meds, and then the ball just started rolling. Um, I had an appointment with my new psychiatrist, and he encouraged me to do some research on SSRIs, and the specific one that he wanted me to start on when I was ready to start. And then I was able to talk to him about my fears and my worries and everything related to my worries about death and what medicine could potentially do to cause that. And I did the research and I talked with friends and I read the reviews. And that's what sealed it for me. I felt like I could have written those reviews myself. Like, reading all of those experiences that were so similar to mine, that were so similar to mine, some of them practically mirror images of my own mental health and my concerns about starting this medicine. And then they went on to say how thankful they were that they pushed through those fears and the symptoms that they got in the first few weeks and finally got to live a little easier because of this medicine. There was one review in particular that I ended up screenshotting and saving in my phone because they just, they spoke to whoever was reading their reviews and they said they understood and they were in the same position, desperately reading reviews and going over worst case scenarios, but that I owe it to myself to try this because it might change my life. That my fears are valid, but I'll be okay. And that was it. I knew after reading that review that I was going to try this. I was going to try this medicine. I am just a little over a week in. Um, I started out on 2.5 milligrams for the first seven days. I am on day two of five milligrams. And I don't really have any changes to report yet. Um, I mean, I probably won't experience any change um, until, you know, at least a month in. But I am so, so, so proud of myself for for going through with this, uh, for taking this step that feels bigger than anything I have ever done in my life, and sticking with it. It has been a struggle. Um, I have been messaging one of my very close friends who is also a nurse. I have been messaging her quite a bit. Um, I'm prepared to call my psychiatrist if I need be. I've been a little more fidgety, as you can probably tell. 
Um, I have been experiencing some symptoms from the medicine, um, not nearly as many or as bad as I was worried I might. Um, they have gotten worse since I switched to the five milligrams, but it's so far I haven't died, <laughs> which you know is the big worry. Um, and I don't think that I've been experiencing any of the um, the symptoms that are worrisome. Um, like I said, I've been in contact with my friend who is a nurse um, with any of those worries and fears, and she. Um, she has kept me grounded and sane and helped me continue on this journey and I owe so much to her. This has just been, I know I haven't been on it very long, but this has been a heck of an experience so far and I'm really excited to see what this does for me. Um, I feel like I can't remember a time when I wasn't depressed, you know. I, I just, I want to be happy and I don't want to stress about death all the time and deal with intrusive thoughts all the time and I just want to have motivation um, to do things, not just like cleaning my messy house but also things that I love like being feeling like I can do those things instead of feeling frozen like I can't do anything like I'm I'm excited to see if this medicine will help me and yeah so that's the video today um I'm sorry I got it to you a little late but um obviously my anxiety has been high with starting this medicine when I'm so afraid of you know it killing me <laughs> but yeah this is a very very important thing um for me and and I thought it was also very important for me to talk openly about it um, because I want to do what I can to help break that stigma around mental health and there's nothing wrong with taking medicine for mental health. I think it's important for me to talk about it as I am a person who is able to talk about it and feels comfortable talking about it. So yeah, that's it. Anyway, Feel free to ask me any questions down in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and more than that, enjoy the happy moments.